Vivian Delacchiesa. Tonight's program is brought to you by Kimberly Clark and the three sizes of Kleenex tissues, man size, juniors, and regular size. By the Tracket Company, makers of Endust and Windex, and by the Apple. And now, here he is, your master of ceremonies for the next 60 star-studded minutes, the busiest man at the Ohio State Fair, Paul Dixon. Thank you very much, and good evening, ladies and gentlemen. There are a lot of men here tonight, but I want to say this is the most beautiful group of women we've ever had on this television show. We've got a lot of things planned for you. I can't say too much for Kneesville tonight. There's a lot of kids down here, but seriously, we've got a lot of things planned, and I welcome you to the Avco Hour of Stars. All the favorites of yours that you see on WLW television will be here tonight. And it really is a little difficult, you know, to do a show for you and those of the people along the uh, Avco network watching. But really, uh, I think you're going to have a lot of fun and enjoy yourself. Now, we've been here all week. I'll tell you, I've done everything from sheep shearing to running the Ferris wheel. And, you know, last year when we were here, Bob Braun, when we got back to Cincinnati and doing our regular shows, accused me of, of having lost my toupee on top of the Ferris wheel. And Braun said when we got back that my toupee blew into the cow barn and that I tried, went run down, run down there to find it and I tried three on before I finally found mine. <laughs> Tonight when I got to my dressing room backstage there was a, a shovel there with a note on it to report to the cow barn. I have no idea why they want to dig up the cow barn. But seriously, this year's fair is bigger and better than ever. You've got a long time to go, and I hope that all of you out there will come to see us. There are thousands of people. I've never seen so many miniskirts in my life. Millions and millions of miniskirts. I'm, I swear that women are trying to get absolutely everything they can out of their dresses these days. That'll take a while. I'll wait for you. But I'm sure the end is in sight. Marge, that's my wife. She can't wear them because her, her legs don't go all the way up. <laughs> Seriously, we have got a good show for you tonight. And to start things off with, uh, I'd like to introduce you to a little girl who absolutely gets everything out of a song. Uh, she's with us every morning on the Dixon Show, and I can't imagine her being lonesome. But ladies and gentlemen, uh, here she is now singing Oh Lonesome Me. Let's welcome Bonnie Lou, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Just a fool for staying home and having 
I guess she's not like me. He's out fancy free. I'm flirting with the girls and all their child. But honey, don't you know that I still love you so? And I welcome you right back in my watch the Dixon show every morning or any time well we're on uh, the Abco network every morning you know 9 to 10 30 and I don't like to blow my own horn but it is something that we would like to uh, acknowledge that, that we are on the air and we hope that you watch us every morning you know we told you before this ladies and gentlemen and those of you who have not been to the fair and we're addressing this to our television audience this is the biggest and best Ohio State Fair ever and if you haven't been here I wish you would you've got stars such as Bob Hope coming up you know a uh, Bob uh, we played golf with Bob in Cincinnati a couple of uh, weeks ago or months ago rather uh, for the Bob Hope house for boys and uh, uh, Bob happens to be a, a good friend of ours and we did this golf match anyway he, he made all this money for the Bob Hope House for Boys. It's the only time that Bob ever works for nothing. But since he's been there, and this, show, this uh, uh, Hope House for Boys has been such a success, Richard King and I are now thinking about doing a uh, uh, Dixon House for Girls. Uh, ages 18 to 23. Uh, we have to start uh, in a small way. We're going to start in our basement. Anyway, Bob always tells a story, Bob Hope always tells a story about he being a Presbyterian, his wife a Catholic, and one night his wife went to a strange church, and he went over to pick her up, and he didn't know if he had the right church or not. But he knew immediately when he came back out of the church it was the right one because they had raffled off his car. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, tonight in our audience, and I believe you've got that for me down there, in our audience here at the Ohio State Fair is the Ohio General Assembly. They're here tonight. And I wish we'd give them a nice uh, a welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the Ohio General Assembly. Also, I'd like to introduce you to two, to two gentlemen who are very close to me, and especially this fair. I'd like to introduce you now to the governor of the state of Ohio, Governor Rhodes, and the president of the Avco Broadcasting Corporation, John Murphy. Would you gentlemen please stand up and take a bow? Governor John Murphy. How are we doing on time, Tiger, huh? Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I I'd like to introduce you to a young man who is a favorite of everyone living in the television range of Dayton, Ohio. He's a star of his own daily show, and here he is with the Academy Award song, Born Free. Ladies and gentlemen, from WLWD in Dayton, Ohio, let's welcome Johnny Gilbert. Johnny? <laughs> As the grass grows, born free to follow your heart. Live free, and beauty surrounds you. The world still astounds you each time you reach for a star. And life 
life is worth living. The world is all giving because you're born free. I hate him, he's so good looking, you know. <laughs> but you know, when you stop and think of it, there, I don't think there's another company in the world, Johnny, other than ours, who could put on an hour and a half show like we're doing here tonight, with all the talent that the Avco company has assembled and all the live programming, and I think uh, you and I ought to be mighty proud to be a part of it. I'll tell you, I'm very proud to be a part of all of the fine talent that is gathered here this evening on the AFCO Hour of Stars. Thank you so much, Paul. And I know you've got a lot to do, so I better run. You're, 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 see you in Dayton? Yeah, I'll see you in Dayton. Okay, I'll beat you, boy, the next time we get out on that golf course. Johnny Gilbert, ladies and gentlemen. You know, before I go on, I, I'd like to introduce you and take a minute. The man that you see behind me leading the orchestra really doesn't need any introduction. Uh, he's Cliff Lash, of course, and you see him every day on the 50-50 Club. But, you know, he's led an orchestra for more years than even Cliff would like to uh, remember. And when we were putting this show together, I said to him, Cliff, you know, you've been playing in dance halls and nightclubs all your life. What one question, what, ask him what the, you had the most request for. And his answer, where's the men's room? But there's quite a guy, and we'll get to you in a minute, all right? Ladies and gentlemen, here's a lady. Other performers refer to this young lady as a singer-singer. And I think this young lady makes having ears a lot of fun. I'd like to introduce you now to Ruby Wright. Ruby Wright, in the shadow of your smile. Ruby, baby, sing it pretty. <laughs> shadow of your smile when you are gone will color all my dreams and light the dawn look into my eyes my love and see all the lovely things you are to me our wistful little star was far too high a teardrop kissed your lips Teardrop kissed your lips And so did I Of your smile. 
Well, thank you so much. You know, I'll tell you something. I don't know if you know this or not, but those of you who watch our show uh, in the morning know that uh, one of Ruby's and my favorite pastimes is hunting butterflies out in Versailles, Indiana, every that's Saturday true, night. That's true. That's true. And I have to get some sleep now, Paul. Yes. You know, very soon, so that we can be ready to go Saturday night. Saturday night. Right. After a week of the Ohio State Fair, I think we, we might be. Might be. Very yeah. good. Ruby Wright, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. You know, I said before that this fair uh, is is really one of the biggest fairs. Well, the second biggest fair in the United States of America today. And of course, we talked to, to and introduced Governor Rhodes before. This has been something that's been very near and dear to his heart. And I've never met more people, I've never met people who are as warm and as friendly and as wonderful as you people who have come to this fair. Because we do our shows here every morning, and I want to tell you something, at six o'clock in the morning they're lined up, and when you uh, start your show at nine in the morning and appear in front of eight, nine thousand people and they're all warm and friendly, I think this group of people is the most wonderful group I've ever seen in my life. And I really mean that. You're absolutely wonderful. You've been great to us. You know, I guess maybe one of the most popular shows in the Midwest is WLW's own Midwestern Hayride. And of course that's seen every Saturday night on, on WLW television. The Midwestern Hayride Gang is here at the fair, of course, and they've had folks singing and tapping wherever they've appeared. And when the Hayride Gang is around, that means that four good-looking guys are ready to entertain you. Let's welcome, ladies and gentlemen, the hometowners. And if you're all set to go, Buddy Ross and the hometowners, here they are. Where do the good times go? Buddy. <laughs> Those of you who live here in Columbus and in and around Columbus see the Spook Beckman show every morning on WLWC. Hey, here we had one. One of the real nice guys in our business, the guy that I'm going to introduce now, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to give you a, give you, have you give him a real nice uh, welcome here tonight, Mr. Spook Beckman, ladies and gentlemen. Where are you? You can always tell a pro. The first thing he does takes the microphone away from you. It's nice being here, Paul. I tell you, you know, I tell you, the show was originally planned. I understand that you understood that you were going to sing. 
That's right. When this show was first written, yes, they had me a bit in this show to sing. Yes. And so what I did, I asked the people to send in requests of what yeah. they'd like to hear. Yeah. And what did they request that you uh, sing, or what did they request of you to do? They requested that I leave the singing to Joni Stewart. Now, I'm sure that those of you around the Columbus area know this little girl. I'm going to miss you singing, but I'd rather hear her anyway. Why don't you introduce her, Spook Baby? We're very, Paul, uh, very proud of her, Paul. <laughs> you didn't write that one, did you? No, no it's a... Right. You know, I tell you something, it's been so long since I've used a cue card that I don't know what I'm doing, but go ahead. This little gal won the Columbus Emmy this year what for a great Columbia? television special. What is a Columbus Emmy? What was it? Tell me. What do you mean, what is it? Well, I mean, what did she do the, to win the Emmy? A terrific TV special. Is that right? Right. What did she do? The Joni Stewart half hour. Is that right? Right. Well, that's... And good. it came out on top. You should be proud of her. I'm very I'm proud, proud of her. Introduce her I think I will. Then come this way and give me my microphone back, will you? Okay, <laughs> Tiger. Here she is, a young lady I'm very, very proud of, as thousands are, to sing Little Girl Blue, Miss Joni Stewart. <laughs> And count your fingers What can you do Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. 
Boy, there's a girl who sings a song, I'll tell you this. Thank you so much. I really mean that. This is one of the greatest things that's ever happened to me, joining the Avco family. Uh, I mean that. Yeah, God love you, Joni. Yeah. You're great. And she was so, ladies and gentlemen, she was so warm up here singing that. You see the breeze go through her dress. One thing I'll say, the good Lord in heaven likes the governor because the weather has been positively beautiful for this fair. Warm, not a cloud in the sky. And aren't you happy and having fun a little bit, huh? Of course you are. You know, uh, it's the kids, the, the, the young people who really have a real great time at the fair, whether it's this one or any other. And the Boyer sisters uh, are here right now, and they're, they're really uh, turning into young ladies, but I still think of them as kids. You see them on the Midwestern Hayride every Saturday night. But uh, when they're not rehearsing or not working, you'll find them out on the rides, touring the exhibits. Well, it's been a real treat for them. And now, here's a treat for you, ladies and gentlemen. Three young kids and wonderful entertainers, the Boyer Sisters and Call Me. Ready, Clipper? <laughs> Thank you, girls. God love you. Two of those girls are twins. Well, well, if they were twins, two of them would be, wouldn't they? Yeah, I'll show you what an idiot I am. Oh, to be young again. You know, of course, on our show every morning, I say I'm 36 and holding. Actually, I'm 36 and some months. 902 to be exact. And before you figure that one out, I better get along, huh? Uh, let's introduce our next performer. Ladies and gentlemen, Here's a guy who stepped into some very, very difficult shoes uh, not too long ago and has done a yeoman's job. Uh, I don't envy him. I didn't envy him and I still don't. But the guy has been doing fabulous. Uh, let's give a real nice uh, welcome now, ladies and gentlemen, to the star of the 50-50 Club, Bob Braun, in one of his big hit recordings, Cattle Drive. Are you ready, Bobby?
now, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to introduce you to a beautiful lady. This lady appears every week on the Dixon Show on all uh, WLW television shows. She's as much at home with an opera as she is with popular music. Here's a great gal with a voice to match. Ladies and gentlemen, here she is, Miss Marion Spellman, ladies and gentlemen. Marion... <laughs> God love you. Boy, what a voice. Now, ladies and gentlemen, Rosemary Kelly of the 50-50 Club, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, oh, listen, we're all watching backstage, and you're doing just a fabulous job. Don't yeah, you agree? Yeah, yeah, well, fine. Yeah, well, the yes. show, yeah, but wait a minute. Hold on. The show isn't over yet. You know, wait a minute. What are well, you doing? as spokeswoman for our fellow performers, yes. we decided that we wanted to present you with a very special 
special award for being an outstanding MC. Yeah. You know, like they'll have Emmy Awards and Oscar yes. Awards. Yes. Well, here's your fellow performers award to you for doing an outstanding job tonight on the APCO Hour of Stars. Sean. You know, you may not know this, but I don't know anything about this. I'll be honest with you. This what? is something special. Yeah, but you don't give men flowers, men. honey. No, but we got something good. And Osher with Kosher Salami. Yay! Thank you, Rosie. How do you like? Who wants it? Who wants it? <laughs> well, for those of you who don't know, we give these away on our show every, every morning. Oh, heavens. Mercy. Do you want it? Why don't you give it to somebody, huh? Okay, well... Uh, you know, ladies and gentlemen, as I said before, the Ohio State Fair just has about anything you could ask for. But one thing they don't, they don't have here, and that's a subway. But this doesn't make a bit of difference, you fellas, go ahead. This doesn't make a bit of difference to, to little Colleen Sharp. When it comes to handing out advice, here's a little lady that's loaded with talent, and she's going to tell you right now, don't, baby, don't sleep in the subway. Colleen Sharp, here we are. Thank you, Clifford. You know, earlier in the show we heard from the hometowners, and here is Mr. Midwestern Hayride himself, 
Dean Richards, ladies and gentlemen, and the Lucky Pennies. And let's bring them out here with a great big welcome. Dean, baby, there's a little penny. Go ahead, <laughs> Dean. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Paul. Wally Proctor, Wally Moore behind me, and of course, Chuck Rich on the steel, Miss Penny on the bass fiddle, and yours truly. Are we all set, kid? Really? Let's go. Now it's a great day for singing a song. It's such a pretty world today. Look at the sunshine. Look at the sunshine. And every day is the same since I met you. Look at the sunshine. Sing a little sunshine song. You know, our next star is celebrating her first year on WLWT, and for the way things are looking, this yes, lady is going to be around for a lot of anniversaries to come. Ladies and gentlemen, here is a lady who is star of her own show on WLW television in Cincinnati every afternoon with her special arrangement of Have I Stayed Too Long at the Fair, Miss Vivian Della Chiesa, ladies and gentlemen. Vivian. Constantly clever 
Gentlemen, that brings us now to the end of our Avco Hour of Stars. I want you to know you've been real fabulous, and we love you, and we appreciate everything you did for us. And if you haven't been to the Ohio State Fair as yet, wherever you are, I wish you'd make it a point to get here. A fabulous place, the biggest fair in the United States. And you can take it from me, it's something. Now, all of us here at WLW Television have been very proud to be a part of this fabulous show. We'll be looking for you here and on television. But now, what do you say we have a whole gang out for a final bow? Ladies and gentlemen, the hometowners and the lucky pennies. The Chuck Cheek dancers. Joni Stewart and the Boyer sisters. Marion Spellman and Colleen Sharp. Bonnie Lou and Ruby Wright. Johnny Gilbert, Spook Beckman and Rosemary Kelly. Vivian Della Chiesa and Bob Braun. 
and the Cliff Lash Orchestra. And what do you say, gang? You all set to go? Here we go. Clifford, give us a downbeat. Here we go. Sad. 